My vision was through. Even after years of speculation, no one guessed the Ishtar Collective made it here. Let alone build a city we couldn't find. As for Callus, his grip on the city remains strong. But it appears these Cloud Striders are keeping him at bay. For the time being, at least. His pursuit of this object, the Veil, is of dire importance. If he gets to it first, urgency is key, Guardian. We cannot fail. You Earthlings know how to make an entrance, don't you? I'm Rohan, Cloud Strider, protector of the city of Neomuna. Welcome to Neptune, Nightbearer. Never thought I'd say that. I always figured if Lightbearers came here, I'd be fighting them off. Lucky for both of us, we're on the same side. In any case, I hope we can find common ground. Or at least common enemies. You heard Osiris. We need to get to the Vale before Callus and his Shadow Legion. Let's get in the city. I'll open a radio channel with Nimbus. New data's coming in. Want to take a look? This city is impressive. That's the Amuna for you. You should see it as a cloud arc. Cloud arc? It's where all of the Amuna citizens live virtually. I keep the city and their slumbering bodies safe. We shouldn't get distracted. Securing the Veil before Callus is the most important task. Do not delay. made the Vex crawl out of their pesky little hidey holes around the city. That's the least of our concerns right now. Push forward, Guardian. Well, tiny problem on top of that. Seems like the Shadow Legion put up a couple of barriers between you and your goal. I managed to ping a keycard using the city's tech that might work with the barrier. I'll keep looking around for more, but you can start there. Thank you. 
One down. How many more do we need, Nimbus? I'm tracking down the last few as we speak, and... Actually, it looks like they're on their way to you, Lightbearer. number on this data. So much of it is corrupted. That's different than the Vex corruption attempts I'm used to. Let's find ourselves a workaround. So long as we don't waste any more time. Callus's forces are occupying enough of your city.
quick look. I got it. It's no big deal. It's a complex system. I'm fine. I just feel a little off. Lucky if the witness doesn't have the veil in its possession already. Are you always this much fun? Fun is not my concern right now. With the amount of power the veil has, I think it can hold its own a little longer. You're a hop skip and a couple rooftops away from the veil, light bearer. The closer we get, the more I feel strange. Ugh, something is wrong. I feel drained. Some of our powers are gone. What is this device? It appears to be some sort of paracausal disruptor. I shall research it more to find a weakness. But for now, carry on. find a way to destroy these things. Now, let's take this guy down the old-fashioned way. Too late. They've got the veil. Guardian, I don't... This doesn't feel right. The veil? It's worse than before. Much worse. Ah! stronger this time. I feel sick. Like I shouldn't be here. We're in this together. Osiris and Nimbus need to hear about this.
Hey, Guardian, got news from the Cloud Arc. Citizens say they're experiencing some kind of psychostatic tremors. I've logged onto the source nearby. Think it's Shadow Legion. Do me a favor and check it out. So, the Veil's safe, for now. I don't have an Earth Warlord translation for this, so uh, stick with me. If Callus uses whatever that radial thingy is and somehow destroys the Veil, well, it's tied directly to our Cloud Arc and literally all Neomuni. I don't think you need a Warlord translation for why that's bad. From the sound of it, your buddy there, Osiris, wants to go in guns a blazing, which, hey, I fully support. But the old man, the uh, other old man, my old man, not literally, but, you know. Between you and me, he isn't sure it's the right call, but don't worry, though. I reminded him you guardians are the experts here. You've been dealing with this whole witness thing a lot longer than we have. It's okay if we lean back and try a little trust fall. Well, if you drop us, it might be my funeral, but whatever, it'll be fun. Now that you're here, the Vex won't know what hit him. Right there, you have a dangerous mission ahead of you. Storming Callus' stronghold won't be easy. Normally, I'd have more intel before a direct attack. The Guardian has faced the unknown and prevailed every time. They are equal to the task. The radial mast is somewhere in Callus' ship. If you strike swiftly, we can remove it as a threat before it ever reaches the Veil. Enter Callus' fortress, find the radial mast, and destroy it. Rolling out the red carpet for us.
Callus is smart. He'll have his most powerful forces guarding the radio mast. Uh, some kind of energy lock. Disrupting the circuit should open the door. There's something strange here, too. A powerful concentration of light energy? Something's not right here. Wait. A source of paracausal energy. It could be the radial mass. The Shadow Legion have the corridor locked down tight. Even if we could fight through, they'd have enough time to secure the radial mast. There must be more than one path to the radial mast. Stand by. I'll send you all the sensor scans we have. Guardian, do you see that? It's more of that strange darkness energy. What is it doing here? Looks like a dead end. Hang on, I'll reroute us. You're losing valuable time. This is exactly what I was concerned about. statue could have come right out of the Leviathan. Maybe he's still the same old Callus deep down.
The Shadow Legion must use this grav lift to move equipment and troops across the ship. It should take us deeper in. I still can't believe my sensors. Could the radial mast really be a light artifact? There's still a great deal we don't know. What is the radial mast capable of? How will it affect the veil? And what is the witness planning? All very good questions, but ones that can wait until we've destroyed the radial mast and saved your city. I know what's at stake here, Osiris. Shadow Legion are ready for a siege, all right. Just look at all these ship ships. Callus is ready to annihilate this city. If those ships reach the cryopods, the casualties would be devastating. Hey, I bet we could help with that. Overloading those energy conduits should do the trick. Extremely volatile energy? Again? Again? How often does this happen? Too often. Ah, take that! Rohan, you've got fewer ships to worry about now. An improvised distraction. But an effective one. And the people of Neomona will be safe from. At least for now. Tormentor, up high. Radial mast yet. 
Good, good. They haven't moved it yet. There's still some time. Focus on the path ahead of you, Guardian. You're almost there. It's strange. I thought as we got further in, we'd see more of the old Callus. But this... How much has the witness changed him? Cyrus has been struggling, but I don't know what we can do to help. If my angles are right, this grab lift is a straight shot to the radial mast. We're almost there. You have overcome every obstacle so far, Guardian. Do not falter now. Just look at this place. All these Shadow Legion soldiers. There's a whole army in here. An army. Ready to march on the Amuna. Callus won't leave a single wall or citizen standing. That won't come to pass. As long as we stop him in time. Something's wrong. The door just opened for us. That monument must be the radial mass. There's no mistaking it. That's light energy radiating from it. Oh, no. At last you have arrived, Guardian. Welcome to this fight. Test of strength. Alas, this day 
I have no riches in store for you. Ignore Callus' bloviator. This is your chance. Destroy the radio mast. So you come with this meager trinket. It is the very beast of the witness of gift. A mere glimpse of the power it can bestow. There is so much more that could be yours if you joined us. The radio mast is too well shielded. Callus is bloviating. This is your chance. Destroy the radio mast. With your appetite on one of my champions. A mere appetizer for the battle ahead. The radio mast is too well shielded. We can't even scratch it. But maybe we can overload those energy conduits. Another darkness anomaly. Where did it come from?
another darkness anomaly. Where did it come from? getting a transmission. It's uh, a set of coordinates inside this arena? Is this the extent of your strength? Is this all the traveler's chosen guardians can muster? <laughs> Your recklessness will be the end of you one day, but not today. Kite! Daughter! Traitor! Have you come to disappoint me one last time? We'll, uh, just show ourselves out. Is it done? Have you destroyed the radial mass? We can't. The whole ship is coming down on top of us. We have to go. We were too late once already, and Callus was able to secure the veil. Now the radial mass? Headlong and empty-handed, Osiris. If you fight the river, it'll sweep you away. Don't be fooled by his act. The callous you face is no almighty emperor, but something far more dangerous. A hungry, desperate beast. Once the Cabal Empire and all its bounty was his to command and his to consume. Joy was his purpose and his strength, he said. 
To angst over edicts and enemies was weakness. But I could see in his eyes dread that his pleasures would soon come to an end, clouding his sight from an incoming coup. I should have killed him then, but I thought exile more fitting. I thought he'd shrivel to nothing in the void of space. Instead, he caught a glimpse of something more. The chance to become greater than he'd ever been. Like a war beast after a blood scent, he chased that chance, abandoning all honor, reason. There was nothing he would not sacrifice for his own salvation. And when the witness came to him at last, Callus faced what he had run from all along. If we don't stop him, he'll make sure it's the end for us all. Empress Keigel's forces will help push back Kallus' advances. We've done nothing but waste time! I understand. But I cannot lose you again in your eagerness to fight. It is not the same as before. I am contemplating your most recent outburst with Strand to see if there are opportunities for improvement. It was out of control. We did the best we could. We need to do better! We don't know what Callus and the Witness want, but if it will have an effect on us all... I, I, I can't allow that to happen. I must ponder more on these strands. You should consult with the Cloud Striders to consider what our next steps could be. Osiris. I'm fine, Ghost. I'll be fine. Go on. Really, I was. There's no greater joy for me than doing something Rohan would call incredibly reckless. He'll shake his head and say his little catchphrase. Nimbus, headlong and empty-handed. I'm sure you heard it. It's shorthand for, hey kid, stop trying to do it all yourself. We're partners for a reason. And if I screw up and things go south, 
Well, we'll fix them together. The cloud arc is still vulnerable. If we can cycle the power, a hard reset like that should kick things back into gear. It's just, this hard reset is deep in Vex territory, and that's where you come in. Osiris and Rohan can go process their differences over some fermented tea or whatever. We're off to go protect the people of Neomuna. We're still a little fuzzy here. What exactly is the Cloud Arc? It's our city's network. Our infrastructure. Our people. Our defenses. Everything depends on it. And what we're doing now is stopping the Vex from siphoning energy from the Cloud Arc's reactor. If you do that, the Veil's safe, then the Amuni are safe. Bing, bang, boom. Dargarita's on Rohan. Make your way to the Cloud Arc reactor. We'll head to the central power junction. Once you cycle the system, We'll be able to return power to the reactor. We're on. Just so we're clear, if the Cloud Arc is lost, what does that mean for the Neo Mooney? All our citizens have uploaded their consciousness into the Cloud Arc. No Cloud Arc means lights out for everyone in Neo Muna. Ah, so it's bad. Got it. another one of those pockets of darkness energy. Should we get a closer look? Hey, it worked that time. Why did it work that time? Huh. It's like you're pulling on some kind of invisible ropes. I'm detecting those sources as a concentration of energy coming from a common source. It's got to be the Veil. Like some sort of magnetic field all around Neomuna. Let's keep an eye out for more of those.
almost at the central power junction. Ready to blast this power back to the cloud arc once you've cycled the system. Hold on. These Vex are short-circuiting voluntarily. Ah, okay. You'll have to clean up those Vex confluxes before heading to the reactor. We haven't observed this kind of behavior before. Hope you're taking notes, Nimbus. On the Headless Robot Dance? Yeah, I've seen it before. It's gotta be a way for them to create a gateway to the Cloud Arc. Or express themselves emotionally. I don't know. can say, honestly. This station's power output is unbelievable. Earth was decades away from technology like this, even during the Golden Age. The Cloud Arc needs a lot of juice. Like we said earlier, it supports all the Neo Mooney, the city's defenses, and also the Veil's defenses. Once we get that power, we'll have all the backup we need to take back the Veil from Kallus. That's good. We're going to need all the help we can get. Wait, why did it leave? Weird. Something's wrong. Keep going, but keep an eye out.
I'm in place, and I can see you're coming up to the reactor. Stop the Vex from siphoning the station and we're golden. a little too easy. route.
more of those paracausal strands. They're probably the best chance we've got to get out of here. We need to get out of here fast. I found a way out. We're going up.
Now right. Position? Like magnetic poles. You've been busy. Well? For so long, we saw dark and light as antagonists. We believed we were the champions of the good because we wielded the light. If these are not moral forces, if they are not opposites, what are they? At its root, the traveler is a terraformer, a, a gardener. It generates natural life, physical transformation at a molecular scale across whole planets. This should have been our first hint. The domain of the light is the domain of the physical. The darkness then is revealed in many facets. Dreams and nightmares, emotions, pain, memory. The nature of Strand confirms this line of thinking. Darkness is something entirely apart from light. A paracausal union, conjoining intangible conscious realities, discursively linking to... You're talking about the River of Souls. River? Yeah, it's a story we tell kids on Neptune. A nursery rhyme. Sort of. Since before history, there's been this raging river. In the story, some try to divert the river. Others try to build a dam. But nothing stops it. Lots of people have believed that we either sink in the water or learn to swim. Don't we? See, that's the real wild part. We are the river. And empowered by it. It would seem. You know, I think I know of a place where we can find some of that power. I talked with Osiris. You know, he gives off uptight museum volunteer vibes, but he's a nice guy when you catch him one-on-one. -on -one. He got me thinking, which is a compliment I can give very few people. There's a place nearby you two might find useful for your strand stuff. I'll get you the coordinates. Speaking of compliments, you, you never fail to amaze me, you know that? Everything that's come at us, you're just like, bam, pew, pew, spot, cow. And suddenly whatever's coming at us ain't coming at us anymore. And we just keep doing it like it's nothing. Wow. The first time Rohan told me I did a good job, I'd given up hoping for it, and by the time I got it, I didn't need it. In hindsight, I think he did that on purpose, but whatever. I promised myself I'd do it different when I took over. The old man might think compliments go straight to your head. But if that helps you, Strandify, and us take down Callus, by all means, let it go to your head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Done and done. Thank you. 
So, Nimbus. Wanna fill us in on where we're headed? There's this place where cloud striders go. A place to be alone, meditate, pray. If the old bird's theory holds up, should be a megasource to strand there. Let's hope it's larger than the ones you've seen thus far. You can see them? Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Hang on, so you've got resurrection, we jumps, and that's the ability to witness thinning in the fabric of existence. Look like I'm kill me one of those ghosts. Strand is another side of the darkness. How come we've never encountered these sources before? The old bird thinks it's like a stink cloud the veil leaves behind. I said it's a similar type of byproduct. To use a different analogy, if we are all part of this river of souls, how do we direct the river's current? I said we are the river. You don't direct anything. You just flow. Another strand source. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's begin.
a breather. Now is the time to lean into using Strand, not back away from it. You can't effectively train if you don't push past your limits. Just... This is... wow. Good. Now the truth training can begin.
hitting a wall with Strand. After effects are stacking up. I don't understand. You've got more power, more practice. Hasn't this done anything to condition you? Back in action. Hit them again. Hold nothing back. I don't think you know what you're asking, Osiris. Guardian, listen. Don't strain for the energy. Drop the effort and just let it blow through you. Now that's how you send the Vex pack in. Nicely done. Yes. That was a challenging fight, but you pulled through. 
Still, we cannot afford any faltering when facing Callus. We should be able to wield Strand without strain. We're still missing something, but what? I must think. We can discuss this more later. What is this attraction? Sagira, could you run some scans? Oh, right. Am I interrupting? Rohan, I have been pondering the veil's paracausal effects on ghosts. I know I haven't been the easiest guest in your city. Pain is not a hindrance. It simply reminds us we're still breathing. Still fighting. Callus encroaches upon the veil. The activation of the radial mast is imminent. The veil is compromised. The Yamuna will fall. Then all of Sol will follow. Strand will be our edge against Callus. The Guardian is ready to wield it. I think. Rohan and I are with you. This is our city. The Shadow Legion are honorless cowards. They shall share Callus's grave. Suppression field again. We can't use all of our power. We can go closer to it. I have a hypothesis. The devices of pyramid origin, built to suppress our powers, our known powers. Callus is not prepared for strand. Use it to overcome their suppression field. Scanning the area for Strand now. than they've ever been. Your training's prepared you for this. Strand flows through you as it flows through everything.
Thought I'd put the replicator to good use. Landing zone's clear. What were these, uh, Terran toys you mentioned? Something called a drink tank. Looks like fun. You stole those schematics from my files, didn't you? Information wants to be free. and keeping Talus's reinforcements at bay for now. But it won't hold forever. Rohan and the Guardian are on the way. We're running out of time.
their suppression fields even disable the tanks. Callus was really prepared for us. Not prepared enough. I'm running another scan for Strand. I'm running another scan for Strand. Almost there. Remember, the radial mast must be stopped before it forges a connection with the veil. See the veil's enclosure.
Mary's a dead end. No path forward. And we'll have to make our own. Radio mast links with the veil, it's all over. You and Rohan are our only hope. Be careful, Rohan. Even you can only deter it for so long. There must be a way to destroy it. Guardian, as long as I can hold the line, the radial mass can't create the link. Find a way to destroy it. Hurry!
mass cannot be destroyed with conventional weapons. But like before, perhaps they didn't account for strength. We need strength to overcome the force field. Hey, Guardian, got news from the Cloud Arc. Citizens say they're experiencing some kind of psychostatic tremors. I've locked onto the source nearby. Think it's Shadow Legion. Do me a favor and check it out. Incredible. Thanks for the drive. When we take on this job, get the Augs and everything, the clock starts ticking. 
Ten years may not seem like a lot, especially to you, but it's well spent. It's worth it. I can't think of a single Strider that went before their expiration date. We've got way bigger problems right now. We need to get Neo Muna's defenses working again. I got reports of Shadow Legion attempting to get up close and personal with the Vexnet. I have absolutely no idea why, apart from the breathtaking views this time of Axial Tilt. But we're not waiting around to find out. That sounds like a good plan, right? It's what he would have... No. That doesn't matter. You and I are gonna see this through. Ready when you are. Systems are reading offline, but I bet those Vex punks are also poking too close to the city's internals. Let us hope your technology continues to be resilient. This shift likely means Callus is attempting a different approach. Taken Blight? The Shadow Legion are forcing Taken into that Vex pocket. The Vex net uses similar gateways as the Cloud Arc, which means they could infiltrate the network and gain access to the Veil. The Taken are relentless, especially under the Witness's control. We need to get in there and stop them.
clear. Let's follow those taken and remove them from the system. Hey, Guardian. I'm not sure if this is because of the taking, but I'm starting to get a lot of weird claims from Cloud Arc Citizen. Screams, weird voices, nightmares, you name it. The Cloud Arc is built on the energy field produced by the Veil. It's resilient, but not impenetrable. A backdoor wouldn't be impossible. Hopefully, getting rid of whatever is at the center of this will shake all that weirdness out of the system, too. Hopefully. to destroy these blights. We can't let more of them form. This is the access point. Let's get rid of that Taken before it opens a path into the Cloud Army.
Guardian. We must finish our preparations to ensure Callus' defeat. This prison in between, it will shatter. But I need power. I am pain. I am terror. I am Netherrack. new intel. Come take a look. Hey, Guardian. I hope you're feeling a little more confident with Strand. Sure sounds like Osiris is. Earlier I asked him how things were going with the green strings. <laughs> Just a mess with him. But after correcting me, he started explaining more of his theories. In great detail. And a lot of proper nouns got thrown around. So I zoned out for most of it, but he sure sounded excited, and that's what counts. When I tuned back in, he was talking about how you and him still got to figure out how to actually master Strand. I think Rohan would have agreed, and so do I. Not because he's dead, and I automatically agree with a dead guy, although it's not like he's really in a position to argue, am I right? I, Cloud Strider Dara Danu of Neomuna, genuinely think it's a good idea.
Lift, with 80% of defenses now operational. I'm full of fury, she's got an army, and you got magic green strings. Let's crush this Callus guy. We aren't ready for Callus. We don't even understand this erratic power at a foundational level. It's time we figure it out. Keitel, we'll need your troops. Nimbus, charge up as many of the remaining turrets as you can, while Osiris helps me to untangle this strand. When we think about controlling something powerful, it's easy to assume it takes strength. Determination. A force of will. But what I've learned is that we cannot control every facet of nature. Instead of tightening our grip, we must open our palms, accepting the ebb and the flow. Letting go in the face of grief in all its shapes. Through failure, through loss, We can overcome the impossible. stand at a precipice, both in our conflict with Callus and in our training with Strand. But something is still missing. And we will find it together. Perhaps inspiration will strike where we least expect it. Follow wherever Strand leads you. Let's experiment. Shadow Legion ahead. No doubt preparing for a siege. We must take this time to prepare as well. The battle will be ours soon, but now is not the time. We have never struggled harder against a greater evil, and yet we know now what Nimbus taught us. All products of the mind are conjoined in the darkness. Our obstacles and our goals are all contained within in fact, they are the same. The same as us, the same as our enemies. What if, in trying to master this power, in trying to take control of this conflict, we've been swimming against the river's current? There, more strength. Yes, and Vex nearby. A fine time to put our theories into practice.
force yields little progress, while careful execution paves a path towards a greater power. Perhaps our towering friend understood more about this power than even he knew. Think on it. When did you start seeing true success with Strand? Our perspective changed, as did our approach to fighting our battles. We took a step back, saw the broader whole, and moved in keeping with it. By seeing our obstacles as part of the bigger picture, and using the bigger picture to overcome them. really onto something here, huh? What changed? To properly observe phenomena of the light, one needs the right instruments. And for darkness? One needs the right perspective. I think we've found it. Seek out more strand and see what this new perspective offers. Even after all that, it seems the Guardian's energy is still... stable. Is it possible? The perspective shift was all we were missing? Do not underestimate this moment. This is the product of humbling training, many failures, and your determination. But you've not mastered this power until you can bring these lessons to bear under duress. I think I know where this is going. I have a challenge for you. The Vexnet contains many pockets used for testing new subroutines. There is one very near you. 
perfect to discover what you can really do with this power. Guardian. Remember, flow with the river. Well, what are you waiting for? current takes
enlightenment, we could go again. What do you think, Guardian? I hate to butt in on your enlightenment, but Shadow Legion are on the move. Another time, then. You've more than proven yourself. Kellis has no idea what's in store for him. Guardian, all of our training, all of our losses, it's brought us to this moment. We must stop Callus from reaching the Vale and establishing a link to the Traveler. Final stand, baby. If I can get this old Ishtar era orbital beam thing up and running, it might come in handy. I would suggest exercising an abundance of caution around untested Ishtar technology. I miss the old go in without a plan and hope for the best, Osiris. That is a gross mischaracterization. Today shall be the end of Kallus' reign. The Shadow Legion will submit or be crushed beneath my heel. Forces are entering Neo Mooney airspace now. Something's not right, though.
their guns are neutralized. My forces are rallying, but it will take some time. You're almost at the Veil, Guardian. Every moment wasted brings us that much closer to calamity. So, this defense relay thing, taking a bit more work than I thought. It hasn't been turned on since the Ishtar days. Hope it still works. With the Empress's Legion routed, it may be our last line of defense. Sounds like someone's coming around to the untested Ishtar weapon. to our defense. Friend of the Cabal, you've chosen to ally yourself with a gutless traitor worshipping a false god. We are Cabal. We eat the mountains. We drink the seas. If you've any shred of honor left, then at least give us the pleasure of a worthy battle.
before the Shadow Legion. Do whatever you must to prevent the link. Will Keitel be okay? I have a feeling she can take care of herself. Empress Keitel is buying you time to find the Veil before the Shadow Legion. Don't squander this opportunity. According to Neo Mooney lore, the Veil is deep beneath the ground. Like, way deep. Whatever you find in there, just keep going downward. We're keeping an eye on the surface. Cuddle's holding off Callus for now, but she's outnumbered. Osiris, I'm sending you a visual feed. We could use your help navigating this place. Incredible. Just like the archive on Venus. 
You should be able to access that Ishtar terminal like any other. That must be the veil. It's massive. I feel a little strange. I don't know how to describe it. It almost gives me the same feeling as the Traveler. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Let's press on. both our sakes. Please don't fall. It looks like the veil goes even deeper. as I could. Callus is coming for you. It's in your hands now, Guardian. Give him the end he deserves.
We've done it. Callus is no more. You gave him a cabal's end. I'll believe it when I see it for myself. Hey, uh, do you guys feel that? No clue what you're talking about. We're almost at the veil. Hang tight. wrong, Osiris. Get your ghost out of there! Finality takes shape. It's creating the link! At long last. Destroy it!
assignment in progress. I haven't given up on the stars. The Traveler. Gone. Should I feel humbled by this sacrifice? Relieved that it can't write any more of our enemies' delight? Lost? Without a god in whom I can place my trust? But what consumes me in this moment is the human loss. We've watched so many die for this war. And yet, those losses have given us insight and common bonds. We stand alongside more allies than ever before. Humans, Awoken, Elixni, even the Cabal. When I came to the last city, I looked up to the heavens for the hope the Traveler gave us. Guardian, the Traveler is gone, but we're still here. It may seem small, but it's no less important under the circumstances. Despite your triumphs against the former Emperor, the Witness has transformed the Traveler, and gone somewhere we cannot follow. Losses are no stranger to any of us. And I have long since known that the world does not obey laws of poetic justice. Much as we might hope otherwise. It will be easy to look at the sky and falter. We cannot. We must take the time we have and make these losses mean something. Neptune is the best and only direction we have. Work with the Cloud Striders. Learn what you can about the veil. A step at a time, an inch at a time, we keep going. With or without the Traveler.
always says, that Callus is gone, and the Veil is safe for now. I don't really know what victory looks like going forward, but I'm not gonna take this win from us. From Neil Muna. It's weird not being the rookie anymore. I'm just Cloud Strider Nimbus. Feels wrong. Like I jumped out a window without my board. There was confidence in knowing the buck stopped with someone else. For Rohan, when I met him at least, it seemed like he just took everything in stride. It was easy for him. <laughs> I guess I'll get there someday. We're having Rohan's induction into the Hall of Heroes in a bit. Will you join us? It'll be great. Quinn will say something stuffy. There'll be lots of cheering. Maybe a whistle if you want to get spicy. But I think he'd be honored if you were there. <laughs> <laughs>